Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. I have been doing so many things off camera over here in our place. You know, we've been all over the place. We've been at Tango's place. We've been at the shopping district. We've been at Falch's place. We've been at Scar's place. We've been helping with the mayoral campaign. And we've been oh, oh, going crazy everywhere, always doing stuff. And I just spent some zen time here just relaxing and building and terraforming. There's very minimal things. You're not going to notice this. You didn't notice that I put this little hedge line here. You didn't notice that I filled this in. It's not that big a deal, but for me and my little heart, oh, does it feel warm. It warms me. I also did some more things over by the cliff and the waterfall. Blue. Take a little swim. And so, yes, I've just done some things. I've added a few more little custom trees around. And I uh, think it's looking really beautiful. Really nice. Started to put a little bit of seagrass. We're going to still, I mean, this is a long-term project. Just like anything else out here. There's going to be lots of interesting things we're going to put in and throughout. I even saw a recommendation for somebody that said, maybe add like a rainbow in the mist. Because sometimes you see that. What a wonderful Twitter recommendation. I love that. I'll try it. It's going to be hard, but I can try that. Today, we're going to start with something. We, there's several things we're going to do. I think we're, we may meet up with Tango later. We're going to meet up with Scar and talk about that campaign later as well. Lots of things, but I want to do something for me. Yes, I need to do some things with the stone building. But I think that's going to be next episode. As I say every episode. But I want <laughs> I want to create something. Because right down here. Right down in there. That stairway leads to my mining area. And I want to be able to transport all my stone. Automatically up into here. And have it sorted. But I need to really use some big, big brain energy for that. Over here on our house. We've had this area for storage. Uh, for wood. And it's great, but I'm starting to find this doesn't look super packed. It's, and it's okay. It's okay. Uh, leaves. This doesn't look super packed, but it's okay. The problem is I want to have everything organized. I want to have it all like slabs, lo lots of things. Slabs, fences, fence gates, doors, all that stuff, and be able to put it all in a line or a full chest. I want a full chest to be like, this is the oak chest. Here's everything oak. And then we're starting to overflow into this now. So I need to make a sawmill building. A place where I can saw. <laughs> where we can have like a, some wood, dedicated wood storage. I've already, for this stone building, I'm already using this hut right here. This hut off to the side. I'm using that just to throw some mining, you know, stone and dirt products and stuff like that. Blocks just in here. Eventually, we'll get it all in there once it gets organized and stuff. But I need that for the wood because we're really starting to overflow. So I want to start working on that. I think it's going to be a beauty. We'll do, call this a phase two building. Actually, we were supposed to start a time lapse right there. But okay, here's glass again. Where is that coming from? This is a free glass Etho delivered. And I don't know where it is in my inventory now. It's somewhere. It's one of these spots. There it is. Goodness gravy. But look at this. I have to show you this. Boomer job payment? Fred, David, Dennis, D Desmond, Diane. Oh, this is on perp diamond. Di oh, she did. Oh, oh, false. Oh. <laughs> for those of you unaware, recently we did a job for false and she didn't have enough money to pay for the whole thing. So we kind of took advantage of the opportunity to promote Scar a little bit. And uh, I guess this is payback and it's perfect. <laughs> so if you couldn't tell, these diamonds don't stack because they're all named something else. <laughs> <laughs> which is a minor inconvenience. But honestly, us boomers, we did not expect to get to get paid for that job. So the fact that she did it alone is so kind. Uh, let's let's in return. How much is it? One diamond per stack. This is perfect. Let's give it back. Let's give 
that back and let's get some terracotta from her shop. This is her shop, False's shop. And uh, I think she's earned all five of those. And then some. Maybe I'll buy some more later. <laughs> Completo. Finito. Completo. Guys, looking at this building and looking at this building together, this one's better. This one is better. But don't worry. This is more of a phase one, two, or three. There's going to be more. Oh, Ren. <laughs> oh, poor Ren. Oh, oh, sad. The final few hours right before you actually build a build or, or, or say that this build is done, not another block needed. Uh, the final few hours, there's little details that are added here and there. And those will come. But right now, I wanted to show you kind of that phase before. Uh, you know, we've kind of done some tutorials on some of this stuff, but we're right before the very end. It still looks good, I think. It's still doable and presentable. And especially since it's kind of more of like a, it's a sawmill, you know, where you do the log sawing. So we don't want it to look super, super ultra decorative. But there's some things that I want to add in here to kind of help it look a little nicer. And that'll come. That'll come in time. But for right now, we've definitely got something really nice put together. So here she blows. You know, you can kind of see it. It's got some cool shapes here and there, but let's talk about the functionality. So here, obviously, we're doing this big log storage again over here, kind of like how we have over at our house, but these are long, bigger logs, and it's more storage. Here, we've got this big, huge log held up by some, you know, sawhorses right here, and then the log comes through. Hits the saw that's connected to this thing, too. These are kind of all connected. Then then out comes the, sh the lumber, sure enough, onto another saw horse. And then over here, this looks really nice. I like how this looks. Just a bunch of lumber planks all stacked up on top of each other. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm happy about that. Inside, nothing. Interior, nothing. You know me. Come on, we'll do this soon. But uh, I wanted to get this outside and get the storage set up. So, I mean, this will be kind of some random outside storage. Inside, I'll get a regular good storage system set up. Uh, but let's actually take a peek at our space up above as well. So we've got a couple things, actually. We've got this area here. But then if we go up, we have kind of this crawl space area where we can actually use this. I put some vent windows here because we can potentially actually use this for some storage. It'll just take a little bit of organizing and then we'll get up here. <laughs> I mean, this is not how we're going to maneuver around this building. But then up here is the main, like this is where uh, the lumberjack, well, that's not a lumberjack. It's a sawmill. So you bring wood here. Um, so we'll have a couple rooms and we'll divide it out. And then we've got a little porch here looking out onto that area. Looks nice. So, so, whoa, I fly. I fly. Woo, close one. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks nice. Eventually it's going to be beautiful, but we got something nice. I've just been itching, guys, really itching to do some building. Uh, and this kind of scratched that itch very, very nicely. The backside here. I'm actually having a little bit of a creative brainstorm for what to do back here. Look at uh, how flat this is. Okay, it's pretty flat. Boom, 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 boom. The same. The textures are varied, but there's no like ins and outs and stuff like that. I've got some ideas of what to do back here, and uh, probably execute them soon. But yes, a sawmill should and could be on the water, but we've already got a water mill over there, so. Uh, we'll work that out. Anyway, I think it looks great. There's something at the shopping district that is evolving into something great that I want to show you guys. I'm very excited about. Guys, look at this place. Holy baby. This is a gorgeous green. This used to be a small little barge. Just like a little thing with some stuff on it. And now, look at what it's grown into. <laughs> and lot. I mean, these are the goodies that I'm I'm in for. Campfire. Look at the barrels. I'm gonna buy some of those. I don't have my wallet on me. Uh oh. 
I need to get money, but I'm going to get barrels because that's huge. Those are annoying to craft. These are just annoying to craft things. Oh, lanterns. I hate crafting. How much? One lantern for one stack. That's really good. I love that. <gasps> Item frames as well. For how much? Two diamonds. I mean, that's a fair deal. And coarse dirt as well. <gasps> this place is nice. Oh, bundle. Mumbo, jumbo, mumbo, Hello? Hey! Hey! What is this? What is this sound? How? I got plugged. My ears. It's so loud. Is that something this store does? Is it makes that sound go off? <laughs> what was that loud? Oh, my goodness. I mean, it was a catchy tune. But, uh... That was, did, is it, I pushed a pressure plate, it looks like. Did I push this and make it go off? Is that what happens? Maybe. Well, anyway, I'm going to get my diamonds and come back and really stock up on some goodies. I got to fix these too. What in the world? Did that do it? That did do it. Does it stop it then? Is it? Is it, this makes it stop then, right? If I push this and break this? And it did stop. Okay. It's something to do with this pressure plate right here. And I'll just have a good night's sleep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not again. Oh, look over there at that. Look over there. Look over. Aha! Tricked him! Yes, he looked! <laughs> hey! Don't! No! No! Not a, not like this! Boom! Got him! Uh-oh, he's coming! Quick! No! <gasps> it was him! Oh! oh it was you! <laughs> Okay, I've been trolled. <laughs> oh man, that's going to be stuck in my head. I almost feel like voting for him. No, 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 we got to stay allegiance. Have allegiance to Scar, right? But actually looking at the polls right now, we're kind of in a spot that uh, we're, we're at five here. This is not, you know, actual voting. This is just to kind of see where people land. False and stress are dominating. Uh, and Mumbo, not so much. I understand why Green's doing some desperation tactics. It's smart. Smart move. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, Scar, we're hanging in there. We've sold another Popsicle, or someone's taken another Diamond Popsicle. I'm really beginning to realize that this was a huge waste of diamonds, potentially. But that's okay. We're going to meet up with Scar a little later. And we're going to go talk to Jelly. That's going to happen in a little bit. But we have to go over to Tango's first... We're going to head over there. We're going to wrap up this project that we've been working on with him. And then after that, we're headed to Scars. So, for now, off to Tango. My laboratory is complete. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like a mad scientist, too. See? Like a proxy. Proxy scientist. You can be my sidekick. What's your name? Do you have a name? Do you have a cape? Uh, oh, I don't. I do have a cape. Yes, I do. Yes, I do have a cape. I'm just okay. not wearing it right now. Ooh, uh, what can my nickname be? Uh, I, what, call me Weasel. Weasel, all right, Weasel. We might need, you might need a separate room in here. All right, all right, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. I couldn't mm. use the main room. I'd have to have my own separate room. We'll get room. you a little side, like little doggy door in the back. Oh, so okay. Maybe. I don't mind. I like that. I can do that. That's cool, yeah. <laughs> the Weasel. All right, Weasel. <laughs> show, show me the place. What do we got here? Well, I mean, you know, this was a... We, we worked on this together, which was uh -huh. which was real nice. But, uh, oh, and I missed some blocks over here, looks like. Uh, we'll fix that, guys. We'll yeah, fix that. Minor detail. Yeah. Uh, but but we, before we continue, we want to ask the audience, should we change this purple? Should we change all the purple out to <laughs> magenta? You guys or... want to? Yeah, should we change the color palette out? No, we're not changing. No, we're not. We're not changing it. <laughs> no. no. But look at this, man. There's like you know, there's like bleeps and bloops everywhere and like Yeah. Yeah, don't hit that. Effects. No. Don't, don't no. Hit. Oh, oh. Yeah. Did not, Careful. Not, not, Careful. not in that order, huh? 
Like, no. It's like a sawmill. Like, it just if I need to sever a limb, I'm, all, yes. I'm I got it, right? Yes, that's right. And then it pumps all the uh, excess, you know, fluids right, right. up and through. Look at all this. And that Look goes all deep this. into the, the system. We're going to yeah, have this... some elevators. The yeah. Elevators. Up, up and down. One down. Yeah, yeah. That's that's for you to do. This is this is uh for your you know because you're producing a lot of toxic uh ooze throughout. I see. This, this is like byproducts. Yeah, yeah. And if you can All find right. a way to use it, be my guest. But okay. I figure we just have I it over here. I will hereby decree this as weasel waste. Weasel waste. Okay. Weasel waste. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. We're gonna, we're gonna get a weasel bin on the back for the weasel waste. There we That's go. right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there's even more beep yeah. boops up here. Yeah. There's a beep boop spot. Yes. Look at uh, this. Look at this. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, careful. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. Upstairs. I mean, do we have? Oh, we got a stairway. Okay. Perfect. Oh, Wonderful. fancy, fancy, fancy elevator. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not not a whole lot upstairs, but this well, it's is something. It's a yeah, start. I I know you've got you. You're always thinking. So if you ever have a a big you, we've limited the space down there. If you ever have a yeah. big project. I, I like that this is open and there's a good floor area here. Yeah. I might do yeah. a little bit more here, but I, I want to leave it open and spacious. You know, it's got the view. Yeah. It's great. Just don't shoot the sun out of the sky. I need to see that for the, when the, when for sleeping time. Right. That's your that's your biometric. I got it. I got yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I just gave you an idea. I shouldn't have said that. That was really see? bad. Oh, I could <laughs> blot out the sun. No, don't. Please. Well, I guess it's that time. Time to meet up with Scar. We're going to head on over to his place because look at, look at this. Vote false for mayor. She's got uh, billboards. She's advertising. And I think even, look at this over here. There's another billboard over here up for grabs as well. Your ad here, contact false. Well, that's just a money-making opportunity. Pretty smart if you ask me. But... We're going to head on over to Scars and meet up with him and get some good game planning going. Talk to Jelly. Hopefully, she's got a good game plan as well. All right, where's Jelly? Aha, there she is. Perfect. Aha, there you are. Okay, next step for humans. Next step for humans. Okay, where's Scar? I need. I want to read this with him. Ah, and sure enough, here he comes, looking beautiful as always. Well, Scar, it's great to see you here. I'm, I'm sure you've been working on some big plans, haven't you? Isn't Jelly so cute? I love Jelly so much. Jelly is such a sweet cat. Yeah, she's great, Scar. I think she's awesome. That's good. But uh, I, I, are you excited? I, I've been working on things while you've been away. I think we're going to make a little, some pretty good headway soon. Things are a little slow right now. Did you know that Disneyland is one of the most magical places in the whole world? And it's one of the, my favorite places in the whole world. Disney is probably uh, heaven on earth. Oh, yeah, dude. Disney's sweet. I, I like Disney, too. Um, I just think we should fo be focusing on winning this thing. As your campaign captain, I feel like it's important that we stay on track and we get this this thing worked out. I like Star Wars. I like the first trilogy. The second trilogy was okay, but the last trilogy was terrible. And I don't like that. But I do love the Star Wars series and the Star Wars universe. Scar, that's great, dude. That's awesome. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to read this book from Jelly now, okay? Um... I just I feel like this is important for our campaign, if that's all right. Bring me four fish, scratch my chin exactly four times, clean out my litter box. Okay. <laughs> Here's a scratch on the chin. There you go. I don't have the fish on me. But uh, clean out the litter box. Scar, you can do that. Yes, I can. Of course you can. Perfect. Okay, let's read the rest. You also need to buy as many of the diamond blocks from the... Jun Drumbot, Junior Grumbot shop as possible <laughs> to stop them advertising. Oh, but this is perhaps less important than my first demands. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Come back to me when it's done and we will claw our way to the town hall. Jelly. Well, Scar, personally for me, I feel like this is something we should do. 
to to eliminate kind of the opportunity for them to advertise with other people if we can just handle it and control it i think it's a good idea yes so do i b-dubs i think it's a great idea jelly is always right aren't you so cute jelly oh yes i love jelly so much and star wars as well yes star wars is a fantastic series i love star wars too and disney's also is good also great i love disney too don't you love Disney? Yes, I do, Scar. Yes, I love Disney. Thank you for bringing that up. That's great. But I'd love to concentrate on the campaign if we could, okay? Well, Scar, I'm going to do this. I don't know if uh, this is something you would approve of or not, but I feel like this is the right thing to do just to eliminate any opportunity for someone else to do this. We can kind of control it. So I'm going to do it. You can clean the litter box and get the fish, okay? Okay. And uh, I'll go. I'll go over there and and buy out some of those tears. I love jelly so much. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this is a bad idea, but you're wrong. It's a good idea. Trust me. Trust me. Number one, tier one support. This is, as you remember last time, Mumbo for Mayor T. We're gonna take one. Yes, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Tier number two, two diamond blocks, Mumbo mustache. Tier number three, four diamond blocks. Play the Mumbo for Mayor ad. All of those things. Now, look at what we just got for this. Look at seven diamond blocks. Should I break that down more? That's a stack of diamonds for the campaign. Ooh, and we can do some great things with that. I've got some great plans for that. But now, I guess we have to, now that we took it, I, I guess we have to kind of follow through with our end of the deal. So without further ado, please enjoy this ad from our sponsor, Mumble for Mayor. But don't actually let it influence you, okay? That was a really cool advertisement. <laughs> that was really, really cool. Okay. Well, all right. We don't have our own song and we don't have our own ad, but we do have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. And he got another one. That's four. Okay. It's okay. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I don't have to push the button. It was just wear the shirt, wear the mustache, play the ad. I did it. And now... We got diamonds, baby! So I'm gonna take all these bad boys and put them up in our campaign headquarters and get ready for our next big plan. Cause we gonna win this thing, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Hermitcraft. Leave a like on it for me if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you all in the next episode.